Live from Fargo and serving you on TV, online, and on the go, this is Valley News Live at 5. New documents say the man accused of kidnapping and sexually assaulting a gas station worker uttered Allah Akbar during the assault, which means God is the greatest in Arabic. Thank you for joining us tonight. Stephanie is off. Abdul Rahman Ali refused to show up at court today, so the judge set bail at $1 million without him. He's facing five felony charges, including rape, kidnapping, assault, and terrorizing. Today, we learned new disturbing details about what happened Wednesday at a Mapleton gas station. Valley News Team's crime and safety reporter, Nicole Johnson, has more. An employee at this gas station tells police she was working when a man came in trying to hug and kiss her behind the counter. Another employee working says she saw Abdul Rahman Ali grab the victim, calling her his wife and pulling her into the women's bathroom. The victim says Ali started to rape, slap, hit, and kick her. And when she tried to get out, she says Ali repeatedly threw her against the wall, knocking her to the ground. Others working called 911. And when investigators pulled up, they kicked the door in, finding Ali naked and the victim beaten and crying. She told police Ali was speaking during the assault. She wasn't sure if it was English or another language, but she says she understood one thing he said. According to court documents, Ali uttered Allah Akbar, which in Arabic means God is the greatest. The victim was taken to the hospital, and Ali is behind bars facing a long list of charges. Nicole Johnson, Valley News Live. Ali's family reached out to Valley News Live today. We spoke with Ali's sister, who says Ali is struggling with mental disorders. He is not tourism. We are Muslim. I'm so glad we are Muslim, but all Muslim is not very bad, you know. All Christian is not bad, but the people also, all people, they are like fingers. The fingers are not the not same. Some people is good, some people is bad. We also talked to a man at the Somali Community Development of North Dakota who sounded very upset, saying the bad things Ali is accused of doing don't represent their community or the Muslim faith. Hear more from them and Ali's sister coming up on Valley News Live at 6. A letter signed by 27 state governors is asking the White House to suspend resettling Syrian refugees in the U.S. The letter cites the United States as long being a safe haven for those fleeing their home countries in hopes of a better life. However, it also states they have concerns based on what investigators believe led to the perpetrators of the Paris terrorist attacks being able to enter France. The letter also includes concerns based on what FBI Director James Comey has been saying for most of this year regarding Syrian refugees, namely that there is no way to screen them. To read the full letter, head to valleynewslive.com and click on this story.